Vijana watatu wanne wapike hapa vijana. Hapa wazee hapa wazee sana. Pigeni hapa.
Wageni wa kutoka na kurwe ambao umesimama ukaribia upande huu tutawaletea viti Wageni wa nakuru ufike upande huu Wewe kama umetoka nakuru eh? Iyo, kuna viti hapa Wewe ambaye ni mgeni wetu ume, umefika siku ya leo na umetoka nakuru ama maeneo mengine kuna viti hapa Wafike upande huu Dio kuna viti hapo nyuma tafadhali muingie nyuma hapo basi kuna gari ambalo we driver utatuondolea KCD 387 KCD 387 tuondolee gari tafadhali kwa heshima tuweze kupanga piti mahali pale KCD 387 tafadhali 387 KCD 389 tafadhali tuondolee tu kidogo upaki pale mbele kidogo ndio tupate nafasi ya kuweka viti Na wa Kristo wa St Peter tunataka wadada kadhaa hapa wafike kuna jambo tunataka tuseme sane wadada wa St Peter Elbagon ama wadada wa ushirika huu nipate wawili mahali hapa wapi hawa kina mama mogo Ah, 
Asanteni sana. Asanteni sana DJ Tafadhali. You can hold your wibo. Thank you. Now to concentrate kidogo mwana kwaya kidogo. Ah tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Kama unaniona aibu weka mkono wako namna hiyo. Asante sana. Tukitaka kuanza program yetu ya siku ya leo sababu mazaa mnaona vile vile imepita. Na sababu hiyo basi ningetaka kumwalika Pastor Gedaiga. Pastor Gedaiga tafadhali mahali ulipo njoo hapa ili uweze kutufungulia kwa sala. Na nataka wamama kutoka St Peter's huko St Augustine pamoja na wamama wa hapa kanisa la Elbagon wakalibia hapa kwenye jenesa sababu baada ya sala wataleta mwili hapa. Nao wanakoya wakati mwili inafika mtatupatia the appropriate song. So pasta kidaiga Amen. Ah uh, nauliza tusimame ili tuweze kuomba. Naomba si zote tupate kusimama ili tuombe. Okay. na ngoja jamii waingie kwa hema na mama pia ndio tuweze kuomba Thank you. Uh, tunaweza kuomba sasa. Baba wetu na Mungu wetu katika jina la Yesu. Tunalihimidi jina lako na kulitukuza siku zote. Maana ni sawasawa neno lako ambalo umetuagiza. Bwana tumekusanyika hapa kwa sababu hakuna jambo linalofanyika chini ya jua pasipo ya wewe kuelewa na kufahamu. Na hivyo Mungu wetu hatuwezi kuyatoa makosa yale yanafanyika katikati yetu. Kile jambo tunaloomba kwa wakati huu tunapoanza ibada hii tunaomba ukaachilie uh, faraja ya kipekee juu ya familia. Tunaombea hata sasa wakati mioyo yao ni nzito na wakati huu sasa ambapo tuko kwenye ibada hii tunajua ya kwamba mawazo yao yametekwa na mioyo yao imejawa na majonzi. Na hivyo tunawakabidhi katika mikono yako katika jina la Yesu. Ukawapanguze machozi, ukawaondoe huzuni na ukawapatie moyo wa faraja katika jina la Yesu. Tunaomba kwa kila mmoja ambaye amefika mali hapa, tuna watu wa familia kwa jumla, tuna majirani, tuna kanisa na marafiki. Tunaomba Bwana utatupatia moyo wa kustahimili na moyo wa kuvumilia tunapoendelea Ana 
la kwa ya sasa Asanteni sana Sasa tunaweza keti Asanteni sana Nikitaka kumwalika Mr. Mutahi ili aweze kutukaribisha nyumbani Mr. Mutahi aweze kutukaribisha nyumbani Basi bwana asifiwe sana kwa majina naitwa mchungaji Joseph Mutahi na hapa ndio nyumbani kwa hivyo wageni wetu kutoka Nakuru na Lobi Kitale na maeneo yote katika Jamhuri ya Kenya tunawakaribisha siku ya leo mahali hapa ili tumzindikize mwenda zake logolo bila shaka tuna husuni na pia tuna furaha sababu kazi yote ni bwana ni Mungu ametenda kwa hivyo tunawakaribisha hapa kunaitwa Kamiredho Kamiredho farm iko katika Dimo location Elbagon location na pia katika Molo constituency kwa hivyo hapa nina ninakulu ni maeneo anakulu. Kwa hivyo tunawakaribisha nyote mahali hapa kanite ni denda gucokeria ngai witu ngatho ni tondu mandiko marauga gwithina kana gikeno ritwa ria ngai no ririgocagwo riu ona gutari uria gutari ritwa ria ngai no tuguthi na mbere kurigoca ritwa ria ngai rironeneha reke njarie uhoro wa ruguru munini ni tondu mahinda maria aingirira theini wa kiama giki gitu gya kamirithu gya tumia ni okire na kiaria na kiwa ni akunyita na hamwe na tumia na tukigua twakena na tugicokiga gatho na hamwe no guo ni anyitanagira na itura riri wega akanyitanira na tumia ni tondu maundu mothe maria mathiaga na tumia na mbere ruguru tutiri twamwaga ni aneanaga maundu make mothe ona ngikorwo ndeguka anyitanire hamwe na ithwi ni tumuonaga ritwa ria ngai rirogocho riu hamwe no guo Mahida mare okire nie ndare ciari ndi wa mutanda mbe mwe tondu mutao uyu turi riu witagwa mutana mbe mwe kuma haki ya ndanginya hari ya rugongo na mahida mare riruo uyu ni we ciari ndi waku akibatithia akijeta ciari ndi munene na akiakiwa egukorwe ciari ndi munini tukinyita noguo mahida mare turonanaga ni turakenanagira muno na mwana uyu witu ni tondu arajuragia ciari ndi uruyo kuo na ninga mwira ndi kuo ciari ndi no menyerire ndi ukiriria giti nawe ni wiyo reikarira reke jarie uhoro wa ruguru mahinda maria ndi mumenyete ona kwa ti mahinda maingi na ti miaka miingi ningegetio ni wendo wa mwana uyu ari na ari aithe witu ni undu ni wendo wa magegania arakoragwo endete andu naguo ni undu ruguru ndaroi gucagurania andu kana we wa kirathi kiriku kana weikarite atia aranyitaga andu othe na wendo munene no horo wa gutugana mahinda maria ndaiguire horo wake ni ndamakire muno ni tondu hwaini ucio ndakorirwo ngiciria horo wake hwaini ucio na ndiamenyaga kiria kiumireire 
no reke ajuge maundu ine mothe ngai witu egutura ngai ni tondu ona mahinda maria gwathia gwaguo ngai witu ari ho na no egitumikia maundu mothe arare mwana mutugani mwana weyuritwe ni wendo ni tondu ona tungirokire guku grupu kwa mami wao aratunyita gogeni na gatwethera nginya gya kuria ni mwana wa magegania reke itutukie muhano uyu ni tondu nikio murona andu mokite mokite uguo mokite ni tondu ruguru ni eu ni ayitaneire wewe uri uguo ikaro hana atia ona ni guo ikara hana atia na tuguo ikara tuikarite ate anandu na tuguo ikara ni ate anandu ritwa ria ngai rirogocu reke itoikare thaini wa mwathani ni tondu ni ngai wikite uu na ni amuhete kihuru kuri kiega ngai itwa murathini ah sante sana mama macharia tumpigie mama macharia makofi kama umetoka kameredo hebu tukuone simama wale watu ambao wametoka kameredo wasimame wenye alikuwa wanaongea on their behalf watu wa kameredo ah santeni sana Mungu awabariki tuwapigie watu wa kameredo makofi now ninge, ningetaka kuomba sana wenye nitaita hapa mchukue muda mfupi sana i know we can talk about agnes more and more and more lakini for the sake of ku, ku, kuagalia masaa tabadali ukija hapa just take a little time sababu tunaona we, munda wetu umekwisha na padre amefika na hatutaki kukumkosea kwa sababu misa tunatakana tuanze by saa sita kamili and we have only allowed 18 minutes so kutoka kitale okampo kuna mtu anaitwa okampo unajua sasa hiyo jina iki, ikitajwa sasa tunakumbuka tuna mambo mengine sasa sijui ni kwa nini wewe unaitwa okampo ama ni ile okampo ya ukweli Karibu sana kutoka Kitale bwana Ukampo. Haya. Kanisa familia marafiki wote wa Agnes God is good all the time. Eh uh, ni ne moko je tikiria jari gikuyu. Tondu guku no ku igiaria gikuyu ni hoigeka exercise ya gikuyu. Tuki tu na kule tutihota kuaria muno. Ano wega mukimenye gikuyu gya gitare gya thina ku gitire kya garuruka giturete kirio gikuyu. Aya retwa riu muigwa retwa o campo. Mutikari hana ni na maretwa mage muiguaga ni jetago mathio joroga wa irima. Na nyumite ahadeka na musiyo de murata munene muno. Eh tukiria sia agi tutikwaria maingi tondu maingi ni maria. Na ni mura kiona ginya adore ya moke te kogu no mwenye agi ya lari mwodo wa mwodo ya boreku. Agi ni gulirika na tuwe gitare wana ni hedi mwa dirika ni ya aime te na kume ya kata hiko mina etano mithiru ni dirona ata aleira. Na watu ya gitare agi ali mura ata wafata. Todo ni na nidaru tawira wa kukua na matatu. Na damu giraga dha keda siyo tuko ako la kukirete nige dha adhiye doko. Wa drama kile muno goria kokuria do matano waga tondu nini dano gire na gire muno gukagira mathaa macio na ndiraigua agithiyo semania na gikuo giake kwari rucine tere koguo ni mudu she was exemplarily a hand working woman na odo gegwire arari mudu mwedi adu a very beautiful heart and a loving woman ni mwetu kite oguo thafari ngiu koguo twina brother yake etago Francis Murata wa kwa muno ahurira Francis yake muria weku Deha haku ena na ikuru gerera yaha hede yo tone daso ni tone ini muno arora gishati gya ko akiona ni gitaruku ajo ile ti shati ta idada to gwa ke johera na kamuko akejira joroge diwi kagira isi inyo muthi uyu ni dirikana age ko kiwa jikire koguo rere ora igwa mwandu makiuga magine mwedi ado that is true those who love those we love and lose are always connected into our heart spring into infinity Teli said na dimwire riwa nirigwa nirigwa kana na ruho ruhure na maundu maingi moneke no tutikari gano ni wendo ria wothe twaganire nagi na hede siothe maundu macio mokeka nituririkanaga hari athiete ni handu hega na twitikire tutigutire tukiuria gikuo giuka kana ki he ajo tangiona ona tari wi haha we uramenya uri wi haha Buda wa madha amere doko menya kore ya gokoro. Kogwe tuwe tekele tu na tuge ga ini muwega. Atose oki ya gado hede siyode. Asante ndi sana. Asante sana Okampo. Chukwa yi maiki. Asante sana Okampo. Wapi Ben Suda? Kutoka kitale. Ebu tuwane wanye wametoka kitale tapadhali. Wenye 
walikuwa wamemchagua Ocampo aongee on their behalf kutoka Kitale. Ocampo ulikuja peke yako. Oh, mko wengi. Ah, asanteni sana tu apigie makofi kutoka Kitale. Asante sana. Karibu Father Garrison. It's good to see you. Now, from kutoka kanisa, the representative wa kanisa na wataka hapa chairman wa Nyango, chair leader wa youth na patron Bogwa. Wote watatu na wataka hapa saa hii. Chairman wa Nyango, chair leader wa youth na patron Bogwa. Nani alikuwa anza? Dear you Mike. Nataka mutsummarize mambo ya kanisa mkiwa watatu ndio mambo yote yede saa sawa. Asanteni karibuni. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Kwa majina naitwa Magdalene Wanjiru. Agnes was our matron. She was our mom. In the church, she used to stand by us as the youths. And for that effect, I will call all the youths. We dedicate a song to her because she has left us. She has left a legacy. And the t-shirts we are wearing today, it was her last gift to us as we acted a play that was named The Palace Gate, but little did we know that we were to look at Syndikisha to that palace gate. So, Friends, I'm leaving now, and the train is waiting by to take my body over there. Yeah, in the land of paradise, where there is no surprise, no sorrows, no worries at all. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, my dear, it's okay. In the land of paradise where there is no surprise, no sorrows, no worries at all. Dear friends, I'm leaving now and the train is waiting by to take my body over there. Yeah. In the land of paradise where there is no surprise, no sorrows, no worries at all. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, my dear, it's okay. In the land of paradise where there is no surprise, no sorrows, no stories at all. God is good. Kwa majina naito John Bogo. Mimi ni patron wa hawa vijana. Na wengine wengi ambao wakuweza kufika. Na hiyo kazi tunafanya na ndugu yangu, mwana ujaro. Na alie hapa. Tuko tafanya hiyo kazi na ye. Rangu tukema. Tujipe nguvu. Mungu watatusaidia. Hasa kwa jamii na familia. Na ototo wake. Na hata sisi ambao tumeachwa. Tum release mam. Apumzike kwa amani. Ile kazi ambayo tuko tumeplan tutafanya. Tulikuwa tuunde program last Sunday na baada ya kuunda program kumbe ilikuwa tuanze kuanda sarafu ya santi tumsifu Yesu Kristo Tumsifu Yesu Kristo 
kwa niaba ya kanisa ambapo alishiriki St Augustine Freiria mimi ndio chairman kule naitwa bwana Francis Onyango na kama tungeasimulia hatungemaliza habari na matendo yake kwa hivyo kanisa nzima hata tulikuwa tunaulizana huyu Mungu kwa kusema ukweli wakati mwingine kimwili tunaweza kukosoa sababu huu mwaka tumepata kuondo, kuondokewa na wapenzi wa karibu sana na ni wale watu ambao wamejitolea sana katika maisha ya kimungu lakini yote ni yake hangepitisha siku yake aliyowekewa kwa hivyo ni wakati huu na shukuru kwa sababu Jumapili kabla aondoke hapo ndipo tulizungumza nilipata kuzungumza naye lakini alikuwa garini nami niko nje baada ya kuhudhuria misa ya kwanza akaniuliza chairman kwani mumemaliza nikamwambia aha bado nenda mbio weka gari ingia fadha karibu aanze misa ya pili hiyo ndivyo tulivyozungumza naye lakini amekuwa msaada kwetu ni mtu hata usiku unapomwambia he Agnes nimekwama anakuambia ni wapi na unaona anatenda kwa hivyo kanisa nzima tumeondokewa na mmoja sijui nitasema aje kama sisi sote tungekuwa hivyo sijui tumsifu Yesu Kristo Ah asante sana. Tuwapigie makofi hao vijana. There's no doubt Agi alikuwa ni mama yao na walitabua kazi aliyoifanya. So kutoka St Peter's hebu tuone hao watu wa St Peter's St Augustine hao watu wote wa kanisa wasimame. Hiyo ndio imekuwa utaratibu. Tuwaone na na vijana wote ambao walikuwa wanaita Agi mam. Tuwapigie ni makofi hao watu wote. Asante sana. Sasa nimebakisha mtu mmoja tu ambaye ataongea kwa niaba ya serikali lakini kabla hajaja ningetaka nimuite Edith wa Kigara ako na wimbo na timu ya St Clair akina eh karihe na wengine wajitayarishe ndio watafuata baada ya hiyo ndio nitamwalika mheshimiwa so karibu Edith Bana sifiwe Mimi ndio naitwa Wakegara Mimi ni anti Warogoro Na mimi ni muibaji lakini leo sitaimba Mwanangu ataiba ametoka Rongai na mtabarikiwa Amen Bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana atukuzwe njwara igwa ko twa koroni muranyo na mwatha ni arogoshwo Amen ya nyine ruiboje tagwa idethi nyumete rugai tunakapa moja na wake gara ni anti ya ruguru DJ to heather uti DJ sauti Sauti na magenina, ya kamala na mana, matiri ya kamala na 
Asante tumbigeni makofi tumbigeni makofi kwa sababu ya time bwana wabariki kuendelea so team ya Saint Clair thank you so much mungu akubariki a very nice song Saint Clair ama hamuko ilikuwa ni nani kali hai Patricia haya team ya Patricia na nyinyi hivyo hivyo mchukue muda mfupi alafu ndio tuingie program yetu ndio tuweze kuanza misa Kujeni hapa. Ah wana kirea. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Sisi tu, ni jumuiya ya St. Clair, pahali ambapo mpenda wetu alikuwa na shiriki St. Augustine Free Area. Wakati tulikuwa tunajumuika pale kwa kwa jumuiya, hata tulikuwa na program ya nyimbo kuna wimbo alikuwa na upenda sana hata kama hatujenga kwa program bado atauimba na urudie mara mbili uh, kitu yenye nitaweza ongezea tu kwa Agnes Agnes Sunday hiyo ya mwisho alikuja pale kwangu mahali huwa anafanya biashara na tuliongea na yeye vitu mingi mpaka akani, akani request niendelee na kueneza injili katika jumuiya na akaniambia vile ninafaa kufanya jumuiya iwe na pahali ma, inafaa kuwa kufika lakini kwa hiyo miezi yote hakuwa ameniambia lakini wakati huo nilishindwa kwa nini huu muda wote amenipa tuongee na yeye si kujua ilikuwa ni dakika ya mwisho ananiarifu vile nafaa kufanya ili kuendeleza injili kwa hivyo wimbo huu tutauimba na tutauimba kwa haraka sana asante Mwenye yako na tumshangilia ni namba 28 1 Mungu ni pendo apenda wa Asante sana tuwapigieni makofi na Patricia one song Tika 
Asante sana grupu ya Patricia kwa sababu ya wivu wenu. Sasa ni wakati wa mheshimiwa Kuria on behalf of the government na timu yenye ilikuwa na kuru aweze kusema nasi. Saidia na Mike. Tunaarifiwa kwamba kuna siafu. So be on the lookout mahali umekaa. In case you find them you let us know tuko na dawa yake. Na unajua siafu ni hatari eh? Eh hey, inanyamazaka pole pole mpaka ikifika hiyo utajua. Asante sana bwana MC MC Muhoro God bless you. Ah uh, tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa uh, mimi naitwa Mheshimiwa Steven Kure Mururi na nilikuwa MC wa town. Uh, wakati kino the Mbogo alikuwa governor. Na tumekuja hapa kama marafiki mekuja hapa kama wanabiashara eh, ambao wako wanafanya kazi na Rogoro tumekuja hapa kama pia jamii Rogoro alikuwa more than a friend to us na tuko wengi sana mimi na Joe tuko wengi lakini kwa niaba yangu na jamii yangu kwanza tunaleta pole zetu tena kwa jamii ya Rogoro watoto wa Rogoro mam brothers and sisters na uncles and aunties tunaomba Mungu wa wafaraja zote aende kufariji mioyo yenu aende kuwalinda na wasaidie hata yale maswali ambayo mko nayo katika mioyo yenu aendelee kuwajibu na aendelee kuponesha hicho kinonda kwa sababu tunajua it is not easy but uh, kwa Mungu hakuna jambo ambalo haliwezekani na maudu moka memega moka memoru tulimamu kagira mothe todo ugonugo gayedaga na hizo ni toy all of us we know that uh, we are not permanent here leo tuko na kesho watuko cha muhimu na cha maana ni kumogopa Mungu, kumheshimu Mungu na kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu ndio siku moja tutamuona huyu Mungu wetu. Kwa hivyo sina niko na mambo kadhaa kadhaa ningependa kufanya hapa na naelewa kuna viongozi ambao wako hapa lakini naomba mtuie radhi. E, kanisa masi ilikuwa ianze saa sa sita kamili na naona muda wetu umekimbia zaidi kwa hivyo wale ambao watapewa nafasi pengine mtu mmoja tu ambaye ni immediate former MCA wa hapa wale MCA wa zamani kama Mash Mash Ronda Mash 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 huyu 
huyu ni MCA wa zamani wa Ronda na ambaye amekuwa kusaidiana na MC wetu Muhoro uh, ninge, wave 2 usalamie watu habari zenu naitwa John Masharia na nimeokoka asanteni kwa sababu ya kushirikiana na jamii jamii pole Mungu awafariji asante sana huyo ni Mash na yeye alikuwa MC wa Ronda na najua bado na, anataka kiti kwa hivyo ni kusema tu hajasema lakini naweza msemea tu haina shida kuna Josh 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 ambaye naye alikuwa MC wa London na wamekuwa very instrumental na walikuwa marafiki Josh ndio hiyo Josh hapo alikuwa MC wa London na alikuwa bado rafiki wa Rogoro e, na naye alikuwa rafiki wa Rogoro Mash na wametusaidia sana katika committee na Mungu awabariki kwa kujitolea kwenu uh, sasa pia tuko na fadhili fadhili naomba wave fadhili e, anaitwa fadhili msuri na yeye anasimama huko town mbali ambapo mimi nilikuwa MC zamani Uh, na pia kuna deputy mayor wa zamani wa Nakuru ambaye alikuwa rafiki ya Rogoro deputy mayor Munyere huyo uh, naye alikuwa rafiki na jirani ya Rogoro asante sana kuna kiongozi mwingine ambaye tumeacha kutoka Nakuru tunadatu warakishe uh, kama hakuna sasa tutaendelea tena na nita, ningependa kabla ni malize mambo ambayo niko nayo tuna MCA wa, ambaye alikuwa hapa pia in that spirit ambaye anaitwa mheshimiwa nani kama mama a very wonderful lady huyu madam kutoka awachan uh, atoke kiti sijawahi mkosa kwa mambo ya watu na pia mambo yetu yeye ndio yeye ni one of the coordinators wa former MCAs ambao wale ambao tulianguka tulijipanga tena tulienda kujipanga <laughs> na huwa tuko na a very powerful welfare group na tunaongozwa na yeye na najua kama anatuongoza kule Najua pia hapa anaongoza vizuri ama ataendelea kuongoza vizuri. Karibu sana nani kama mama. Asante. Uh, asante sana mheshimiwa Kuria na wenzangu. Kanisa la maombolezi bwana asifiwe. Gaine mwega na hiti shiyothe. Githio na thai shigai to mwega todwe gutura mwega uh, majina ni Florence Wambui Jeroge mama Julia ni jina langu la uzazi na hapa Elbagon wanapenda kuniita kwa jina nani kama mama lakini juu yote mimi utoa ushuhuda kuna Mungu binguni nimekuja hapa kutoa pole zangu familia yangu kwa familia ya Ruguru na kuna kitu moja na nitarudia niliwambia kwa nyumbani wakati nilikuja maumbolezi uh, kuwa kila kitu na wakati wake na katika safari yetu ya maisha kuna kuzaliwa na kuna kuondoka chenye Mungu ameficha kwetu ni siku ya kuondoka na gari ambayo utasafiri nayo lakini hiyo siku ikifika tunaombo tumwambie Mungu asanti nilisema hakuna kitu kichungu kama kifo cha mtu ambaye haku amegonjeka mara nyingi tukiwa na wagonjwa hospitali tunangonjea mambo mawili aidha mgonjwa wangu apone niende na ye nyumbani ama apumzike lakini yeyote ambaye anaingia kwa gari na ako kwa biashara zake na anasafiri huwa tuna matarajio kuu sana aende na arudi na kwa hivyo tunajua kila mtu anahuzunika kwa sababu kifo cha huyu msichana hakikuwa kinatarajiwa lakini kwa familia ya Kamwero ningewaomba kama vile mmetoa ushuhuda kuna watu wengi wamekufa kwa boma yenu mwaka huu kabla mwaka uishe mkutane pamoja na nigeza mugie na ihoya ya kushokeria gaigadho na ihoya ya kumuira mwadhanine tu akuhoya ciana citu cikinyie ukuruini wao tondu ifukuria gaire tuhete miaka 70 na niyo turahoya o mudu wothe naye kwa mama mama wetu watoto wake na familia ifukuria job 
chapter 5, verse 18. Nila ugo u. Gainiwe otura turaga. Na niwe wohaga abadej. Niwe ogura ragia. Na niwe ohona gia. Na guokogo wa kene kunene. Na kweno hoti wako honia. Hau gai agura letie mushio yuanyu. Nie na familia kwa tuwa muhoya. Tuwa hoya gai usio ahonie. Jere siya kesiya kuhonia nenyike muno. Na ojerele ya gato mira. Netoe otuko nekerero. No roshi ni ni mitheko. Gaini yako muhonia. Na negeza roshio muhote ukorona mitheko. Na muturero wa nyudhye na apere. Na okore siyana siya rogoro. Netoe na ihora. No muena shosho. Na muena aguka. Na muena amama na tata. Nigeza muturye wega wa mami wanyu. Na shigo ili ya turete ya muhete. Muthika gerelie aduwa shi wakuru wanyu. Na netoe hale ya mure ona gizomo kere ya mura adhoma. Family ne konyita nila. Ne tigerele keone kike ya mami wanyu. Nige ya kinya nila. Nige ndo shi otila igwa we St. Paul. Ahote kore kia. Aga shoka makinya ine manyina. Muire tu otaguo. Nige za muturele wanyu uzie na apere. Kore na netoe kore la. No odo na ihidari aguo. Na nigo kinya muthia. Gai ya mura adhime. Amwede na makiria zaayo shio hea na wane gai. Neguwa niye damu hoera. Asante ni sana. Niye diko hoya kura. Todo dahota kuhoya dhie muno. Na neguwa da wikiru wa mude ilato. Siyari ya matigeto ni mwedo wa wawo. Gai ya mura adhime na amwede. Tumpigeni makofi. Tumpigeni makofi mama Julia. Sasa kwa sababu mude yetu umeenda sana. Ningependa tu kwa shukuru. Wote kwanza wa nokomitia ambao umetoka na kuru. Ambao nikuwa na ongoza kama chairman. Uh, Tukona wao maina hako huku nyuma, shiku karori. Na wote ambao walikuwa members wa yu komiti. Mungu wa bariki sana. Kwa sababu na jua siteza kupata mda mungini wa kusema haya. Lakini ni vizuri ni waseme hivo. Uh, pia ningependa pia kuleta rambira ambiza senator wetu. Senator Susan Kiheka. Ambaya litumana pale town uh, uh, this week. Na pia angependa kuja hapa. Lakini ya menipigia simu na kaniambia usiku walipigia na eh, His Excellency, Deputy President. Na wako hapa na Kuru County, mazishi ya Chief of Staff wa Deputy, Gover uh, Deputy President. Kwa hivyo mpoke eh, risara za rambi rambi kutawa kwa Senator wetu. Ha, mungine ambaye msaidia sana ni TM. Mwishimo wetu pale town na wanakuru East. Eh, Honorable David Gikaria ametupatia basi. Na ilo basi tu ni mafuta tutumeweka Na ilimetusaidia ili sana katika mambo ya uchukuzi Kwa hivyo afikishiwe shukurani zetu Pia tukono watuto ambao e, rogorua kwa na mawapenda sana Wale watuto marafiki wetu wale ambao wameka pale e, The street children A, Rogorua kwa mpenda wa mawapenda sana Sazi nge kwa na wabondesha jioni Akifunga kazi na wao pia walimpenda Kwa hivyo tunawatambua sana Mali ambapo muko Na tungependa watu waone Rogoro alikuwa mtu ya gani. That is how you know a person. Ukiona analileti mbaka na wale wadogo zaidi kwa society. That shows you the kind of person she was. Uh, pia jambo lingine ni kusema asanteni sana kwa the business community. Wale ambao tumetoka na kuru. Niona muhoro kisimamisha kila kikundi. Wale ambao tumetoka na kuru ambao tunafanya biyashara na rogoro. Deno simameni chafadhali, simameni wote. Watu wa nasha. Watu wa soko pale. Tafadhali simameni tuatambue. Simameni tutafadhali tuwatambue watu wanakuru Watu wanakuru ambao tunafanya biyashara na arogoro Tuko wengi zaidi kila mahali God bless you for coming Asanteni sana mungu wabariki Na asanteni tena na tena Tumemaliza sasa Wana muhoro We can take over Asante sana Tumbigia makofi mweshimiwa kuria Kuna hawa watoto waba walikuwa metaja Walikuwa wanalishwa na arogoro Ebu asimame Hawa watoto wa kutoka town Simameni, joni hapa Chap chap Joni hapa, quick quick Waje hapa, tuwa pigeni makofi Sasa tunataka muwane hile piche ya, ya ukweli Kwa hapa ni mama alikuwa najua umuhimu wa kure Na sasa hawa walikuwa wana mtegemea sana Kulikana hile information tumepewa ni kwamba alikuwa nafunga kasi saine As the last person 
hata wakati kuna kavyo ndio kabla hajaenda nyumbani kulisha watoto wake analisha hawa kwanza so waje hapa unajua we are also streaming live na ni vyema wenye wako Australia na kuigineko waone familia ya, 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 ya Agnes yoni hapa mpigwe picha Unakuwa ka boys peke yenu? Kuna girls? Oh, mba, oh, kum, oh. Aha. Ah, DJ waekea wibo moja diyo wanasema? Hawana wibo bayao? I'm not going to say my Aya, aya, on behalf of them. Aya, aya. Praise God. Praise God once more. Okay, I thank the Lord for bringing us here through the road up to where we are here. And uh, on behalf of the my brothers, and sister, we have one of us, his sister. Kwa Imani. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu, kulie tuonyesha njia iendayo kwa baba yetu wa minguni, Bwana utukurumie. Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu, lieleta uzima duniani kwa kifo chako, Kristu utukurumi. Kristu Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu, uliyetayarisha makao yetu mapya katika nyumba ya baba Bwana utukurumi. Bwana utukurumi. Tuombe. E Bwana, usikilize sana zetu. Sisi tunakuomba sana huruma yako kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako Agnes Rogoromboro tunakuomba pia watazame hawa watumishi wako wanaomboleza wape nguvu za kuhumilia msiba huu kwa imani tujalie sisi zote tuliokutanika hapa kutane siku moja na ndugu zetu mahali ambapo machozi yote hukutwa naomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Baba yetu kuliebe. Jina lako ni kutose. Kwa wako kike. Utakali kikilike dunia ni kama nizuri. Kutupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku. Kutusame na makosa yetu. Kama tunabi ya usame na sisi wa hiyo tukose. Kusitutie katika kishawishi. Lakini mtu wako ni maungumi. Baba yetu Binguni. sikileze sala zetu sisi tunakuomba sana huruma yako ni marehemu mtumishi wako Agnes uliyemhamisha hapa duniani umweke katika amani na mwanga pamoja na watakatifu wako naomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristu Bwana wetu raha ya milele umpe e Bwana mwanga wa milele muangazie hapo mzike kwa amani. Amina. Raha ya milele umpe e Bwana. Na wa milele muangazie. Hapo mzike kwa amani. Amina. Raha ya milele umpe e Bwana. Na wa milele muangazie. Hapo mzike kwa amani.
Mwenyezi tunakiri kwa imani kwamba mwanao alikufa na akafufuka tujalie kwa wema wako ili kwa njia ya fumbo hili tumishi wako Agnes aliyelala katika Kristo apate furaha ya kufuka kwa njia yake anaishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Somo katika kitabu cha hekima Mwenye haki ingawa amekufa kabla ya wakati wake atastarehe Kwa maana uzee ulio na heshima sio kama kitu chake ni wingi wa wakati tu wala kipimo chake idadi yake miaka bali ufahamu ni kama mvi kwao wanadamu na maisha safi ni kama uzee ulio mtilifu huyo alionekana amependeza Mungu akapendwa naye hata pindi alipo kikaa katikati kati, kati ya wakosaji akachukuliwa naye akahamishwa ili uovu usimgeuzie nia yake wala hila isimdanganye roho yake mradi nia yake mradi ushi, ushihiri wa utukufu ufumba yaliyo mazuri na uvu ruvuru wa tamaa hupotosha akili zilizo nyofu huyo alikamilika katika siku chache akatimiza miaka mingi na kwa kuwa roho yake ilimpendeza bwana akafanya haraka ya kuondoka katikati ya uovu lakini kwa habari ya waovu hao huona lakini hawafahamu wala hawatii mioyoni mwao neno hili ya kwamba neema na rehema zinawateule wake naye huangalia watakatifu wake neno la bwana
zaburi ya kuitikizana kiitikio Bwana ni mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na akitu Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na anani laza katika marisho enye majani majani mengi ananiongoza kando ya mahari pakupumzika paripo na maji ya kutosha mahari paripo na maji ya kutosha wana die mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na akitu anaiburudisha nafsi yangu ananiongoza katika mapito ya uadirifu kwa ajili ya jina lake ya jina lake wana die mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa kitu hata ingawa nitatembea katika bonde lenye kivuli kizito siogopi chochote kibaya kwa maana wewe uko pamoja nami Fimbo yako na ngolako ni vyo vitu vina vyo ni variji Wanadie mchugaji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu Mele yangu wewe Unani tayarisha meza mbere ya ware wanaonyonyesha uanui umepaka kichwa changu mafuta kikombe changu kimejazwa Vizuri vizuri wana die mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na kitu kwa kika we mwanafadhili zenye upendo Zitani fata siku zote na maisha yangu na mimi katika nyumba ya Yehova siku nyingi nyumba ya Yehova siku nyingi Wana die mchungaji wangu sitapungukiwa na Wana die mchungaji wangu 
Setapungukiwa na kitu. Shangirio. Mlimpia na wapa mpendane. Kama vile nilivyo wapenda ninyi, nanyi mpendane vivyo hivyo areruya. wakati wa ijiri tusimame wote tusimame Bwana awe nanyi somo la injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Yohani Wakati ule Martha alimwambia Yesu Bwana kama ungalikuwa hapo kaka yangu hanga likufa lakini hata sasa najua ya kuwa Mungu atakupa chochote utakachomwomba Yesu akamwambia kaka yako atafufuka Martha akamjibu najua atafufuka siku ya mwisho Yesu akamwambia mimi ni ufufuo na uzima Anisadikie mimi hata kama atakufa ataishi na kila anayeishi na kunisadiki hatakufa milele je wasadiki hayo na yakajibu ndio bwana na sadiki ya kuwa wewe ukristu mwana wa Mungu atakayekuja ulimwenguni humu injili ya bwana Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Tusalimiane hewani hamjambo. Bwana asifiwe. Jambo la kwanza tungependa kutoa rambi rambi zetu kama Kanisa St Peter's Catholic Church mahali ambapo uh, Agnes amekuwa kwamba ni Mkristo wetu, kiongozi wetu na sasa amekuwa hasa mko mstari wa kwanza pia kuweza kutembea na vijana na vijana pia leo nimeweza kuona pia familia ingine mahali ambapo pia lipo wahudumia kule uh, mahali ambapo alipofanya kazi na wakati ambapo tunapotoa rambi rambi zetu pia kwa jimi na meli wakati hau ambao ni mzito na kile ambacho mama alicho hapa aliwapa tukae katika nyumba ya Bwana na waomba kwamba Mary na Jimmy ile ambayo mama yetu Agnes aliyotupa akatonyesha njia nyumbani mwa Bwana na nyumbani mwa Bwana hakuna kitu ambacho mtakachokosa hakuna kitu ambacho mtakachokosa kwa sababu Mungu ambaye aliyetupa mama huyu mama amba, ama Mungu ambaye aliyemuumba na kampa nafasi kukaa pamoja na sisi atazidi kuwapa vyote mradi tu tukae karibu na yeye na jambo lingine ya, la kwanza ni kwamba tuweze kukubali yale ambayo yametukia na wakati ambapo tunapokubali tusiwe wale ambao jemeni tunasema kwamba hizi ni video ama jameni tunaona kama kwamba ni ndoto ni kwamba Agnes ameitwa na Mungu wakati ambapo tunaposema kwamba Agnes ameitwa 
ameenda tukubali yale na uchungu ambao tunaoupata wakati ambapo tunapa kubari yale kwamba Agnes ameondoka ameondoka mbele yetu uchungu ule ambao tunao tupeleke uchungu ule katika msaraba kwa sababu katika msaraba tunapata uponyaji tunapoenda kwake katika msaraba Kristu anatupa nguvu na wakati ambapo anapotupa nguvu anatuimarisha na wakati ambapo anapotuimarisha jamini na unyonge wetu katika msaraba unakuwa kwamba ni unyonge ambao hauonekani. Kwa hivyo tusipeleke maswali yale ambayo tunayo maswali ambayo ni magumu tukayapeleka kwingineko maswali mazgumu majozi ambayo tunayo mbele ya msaraba mahali ambapo Yesu Kristo mwenyewe anasema maneno haya Mungu wangu Mungu wangu mbona umeniacha na wakati ambapo Kristo anaposema maneno yale ni wakati ambapo ulikuwa kwamba ni mgumu wakati ambapo jamini yeye mwenyewe anakuwa kwamba mapenzi ya Mwenyezi Mungu kabisa kabisa yalikuwa kwamba ni mazito zaidi lakini wakati ambapo anasema kwamba jamini naomba kwamba niweze kukubali mapenzi yako na pia akasema kwamba Mungu wangu Mungu wangu wakati ambapo mambo kama haya yanavyotukia wakati mwingine tunaona kwamba imekuwa kwamba nigiza tunajua atu, tunashindwa twende wapi lakini tunaposema maneno yale Mungu wangu Mungu wangu turudi katika msaraba atatupanguza machozi turudi katika msaraba ataponya majeraha ambayo tunayo na wakati ambapo tunapofanya hayo na nipoza Mwenyezi Mungu atazidi kutembea pamoja na sisi na katika matokeo haya yote tuize kuangalia what is any advantage at ambayo imefanyika now one of the advantage let us not look at the disadvantages because when we dwell on disadvantages we will never be able to move na wakati ambapo naangalia tuangalie katika matukio haya ni mambo gani ambayo ni mzuri na jambo ambalo ni mzuri kwamba Agnes alimjua Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa sababu alimjua Mwenyezi Mungu katika kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu akatembea pamoja na sisi na kwa sababu alimjua Mwenyezi Mungu kwa Mkristo hamna kifo na kwa Mkristo ni kwamba anaanza maisha ya sasa na kuisha uh, na kuanza maisha ambayo jameni yataishi milele na milele na hilo ndilo jambo ambalo tunasema kwamba nzuri ati kwamba alimjua Kristo na katika kumjua Kristo akamtumikia Kristo na kwa sababu hiyo jameni tunajua kwamba Agnes ajapotea ameanza maisha yale ambayo ni ya milele na kwa sababu anaanza maisha yale ambayo ni ya milele sasa na mimi na, mimi na wewe tuweze kujiuliza je jameni ni kitu gani ambacho tunachofundishwa na huyu mama yetu Mwenyezi Mungu amempa miaka michache na wakati ambapo anaposema kwamba amempa miaka ambayo si mingi sana lakini miaka ambayo ni miaka ambayo ni mizuri miaka ambayo alijuana na Mwenyezi Mungu alijuana na muumba wake miaka ambayo amemtumikia miaka ambayo siku ya leo tuna machozi kwa sababu ya nini kwa sababu alikaa na sisi vizuri kwa sababu alituonyesha njia alitupa matumaini katika maisha yetu na kwa sababu alitupa matumaini na ndipoza machozi yanakuwa kwamba jameni yako katika macho zetu na katika nyoo zetu poza nasema kwamba somo la kwanza linasema kwamba ati kwamba wenye haki ingawa Mwenyezi Mungu amewachukua mapema amefanya hivyo kwa sababu ameona kwamba wamempendeza na baada ya kuona kwamba wamempendeza anafanya haraka kuwaondoa na anafanya haraka kuwaondoa kwa sababu gani nia zao zibadilike anawaondoa miongoni mwa waovu na nipoza siku ya leo hata kama kwamba una huzuni kwa sababu ya kwamba ati Agnes ameondolewa miongoni mwetu lakini ukue kwamba una huzuni kubwa kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu anasema kwamba amemuondoa miongoni mwa waovu na ndipoza hawa waovu wasimubadilishe nia kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu 
hana amna mpango wa kusema kwamba anataka mtu yote aweze kupotea wale ambao ni waovu tafakari amewaondoa miongoni mwa waovu amekuwa katikati yetu na ndipoza siku ya leo mimi na wewe sisi ni waovu na ndipoza Mwenyezi Mungu anamuondoa Agnes kwa sababu jameli tunaishi katika uovu na ndipoza wakati ambapo anapomuondoa jameni hii ndio ambayo ikupe huzuni kwa sababu mimi ni muovu wewe ni muovu na huja badilisha maisha yako maisha yako jameni haijakuwa kwamba ni raini na kwa sababu haijakuwa kwamba ni raini jameni iweze kutupa huzuni na nipoza niweze kujiuliza swali je uhusiano wangu na Mwenyezi Mungu uko vipi wakati ambapo anajiuliza mimi uhusiano wangu na Mwenyezi Mungu uko vipi bado jameni unaishi mbali ama jameni umemkubali kuweza kumtumikia katika ma- neno la Mwenyezi Mungu ambalo limekuja katika maisha yako ni neno ambalo linakubadilisha ama ni neno ambalo unasema kwamba goja mimi nifurahie maisha mimi sitaishi njili mimi nitaishi jinsi ambavyo ninavyotaka wewe umebatizwa jameni unaishi ubatizo wako ama wewe ulibatizwa na baada ya hiyo ukaweka Ukristo ukando na baada ya hiyo ukawa kwamba unaishi jinsi ambavyo unavyotaka hivyo siku ya leo Agnes anatupa changamoto katika maisha yetu tuweze kujiuliza uhusiano wangu na Mwenyezi Mungu uko vipi uweze kujiuliza uhusiano wako na wale watu ambao mnafanya kazi uko namna gani jameni uweze kujiuliza unawapenda wale ambao mnaishi pamoja na wao ama jameni wewe ingawa kwamba ni Mkristo lakini hauna upendo ndani yako hakuna umungu ndani yako kwa sababu jinsi ambavyo unavyoishi na wale ambao mnaishi pamoja na wao na nipoza wakati huu uweze kusema kwamba ni wakati ambapo mimi nitabadilika tunagoja christmas na wakati ambapo tunapogoja christmas kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu anafanya nini anatupa zawadi kubwa na zawadi kubwa ambayo tunayopewa katika Christmas ati kwamba mokozi aweze kuzaliwa aje katika hali yetu ya uduni hali yetu ambayo ni ndogo na wakati ambapo anapokuja katika hali yetu ambayo ni ndogo na ndipoza aweze kutuinua na kutuunganisha na Mwenyezi Mungu wakati ambapo anapokuja kutuunganisha na Mwenyezi Mungu Alipoza siku ya leo nataka nikuulize na ujulize jameni wewe utayali kila wakati ama jameni wewe unakaa tu ni mpango gani agenda gani ambayo unayo katika maisha yako yako wakati ambapo nasema kwamba agenda ambayo ninayo ni hii agenda ambayo ninayo jameni ninaishi yale ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu amenipa ama jameni ninaishi jinsi ambavyo mimi ninavyotaka kwa sababu tujue kwamba maisha ni mafupi na hatujui lini ambapo tutakapoitwa kwa hivyo lazima kwamba tuweze kuona kwamba tunaungana na wale wengine tuweze kuona kwamba tuna upendo katika maisha yetu tuweze kuona kwamba jameni tuna uhusiano na Mwenyezi Mungu na ndipoza wakati ambapo anapokuja hatutasema kwamba we wish we knew tunaishi dunia hii tumepewa nafasi kuishi kwa muda mfupi na wakati ambapo tunapoishi katika muda huu mfupi jameni tuweze kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu sasa ni wakati ambapo utasema kwamba lazima uweze kuamua kuamua kukaa katika neema za Mwenyezi Mungu. Christmas tunapewa neema juu ya neema, lakini neema hizi ambazo Mwenyezi Mungu anazotupa jameni wewe umekaa kando ama jameni unashirikishwa katika wa, katika uzuri wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Kwa siku ya leo tunapomsindikisha huyu dada yetu, niweze nikajiuliza katika yale ambayo ninayofanya jinsi ambavyo ninavyoishi na watu jameni unawapenda ama unawadharao roguro ametuonyesha jinsi ambavyo amewapenda watu na jinsi ambavyo jameni aliweza kutembea na watu ile nafasi ambayo alipewa 
ama nguvu ambazo alizokuwa kwamba amepewa katika kiwango chake ameishi Ukristo wake kamili na kwa sababu ameishi Ukristo wake kamili na sasa na wewe na mimi wacha tuinuke na wakati ambapo tunapoinuka jameni ndipoza tuweze kutembea katika somo letu la injili tunapatana na Yesu Kristo ameenda katika uh, boma hili boma hili uh, bedha nepale marafiki zake Martha Maria na Lazaro na wakati ambapo akiwa akiwa bado mtaani amepewa habari na akaambiwa kwamba rafiki yake Lazaro ni mgonjwa lakini huyu Yesu hakufanya haraka kwenda na wakati ambapo anapofika mahali pale ana uh, hata wakati ambapo anapoenda anawaambia wanafunzi wake rafiki yetu Lazaro amelala na nipoza hata uh, wanafunzi wengine wanamwambia kwamba twende tukalale na yeye lakini anawaambia kwamba sikulala kile amelala amekufa na nipoza baada ya hiyo anafika katika mji ule wakati ambapo anapofika katika mji ule anasema kwamba uh, wanamwambia ama maneno ambayo anaambiwa na Martha na Maria wanamwambia kama kwamba ungelikuwa hapo hapa ndugu yangu kufa lakini Yesu Kristu anasema kwamba yeye ndiye uzima yeye ndiye ufufuko na nipoza siku ya leo wacha maisha yetu yale kwamba yana maana tuweze kuwa kwamba sisi ni watu ambao tunaishi milele tujiunganishe na Kristu familia yako itakuwa kwamba ina maana zaidi biashara yako itakuwa kwamba ina maana zaidi kazi ambayo unayoifanya itakuwa kwamba ina maana zaidi wakati ambapo unapojiunganisha na Kristu kwa sababu utaishi milele hakuna haja ujikae kando ukae kando mbele mbali na Mwenyezi Mungu na baada ya kukaa kando mbele uh, mbali na Mwenyezi Mungu ufanye kazi kubwa katika dunia hii na baada ya kufanya kazi kubwa baada ya hapo kifo kinapokuja uwe kwamba wewe ni wakupotea wacha tuwe kwamba sisi ni wale ambao jameni wana hekima tukae tutembee na Yesu Kristu na ndipoza wakati ambapo wanapotembea pamoja na sisi jameni tunasema kwamba tutaishi milele siku zetu na wakati ambapo tunapoishi milele kwa sababu tumemtumikia na wakati ni sasa usiseme kwamba mimi nitagoja wakati ambapo nitakuwa kwamba nimezeeka tumsifu Yesu Kristu Bwana asifiwe Yesu kumoja Shetani aliona kwamba kazi imekuwa nyingi sana. Na wakati ambapo alipoona kwamba job imekuwa nyingi akaamua kufanyisha interview. Na wakati ambapo alipofanyisha interview watu watatu walijitokeza waweze kufanya kazi na shetani. Na wa kwanza alipoingia katika uh, uh, yale uh, interview kuweza kuulizwa maswali aliulizwa jameni ni kitu gani ambacho utakachomwambia mwanadamu na ndipoza akuje upande wa kwetu huyo jamaa akaangalia akamwambia bwana huyu shetani atakwamba lile ambalo nitakalo waambia hawa watu ni kwamba mnadanganywa kuna binguni hakuna binguni fanyeni dhambi bwana shetani akamwangalia akamwangalia akamwambia anyway weenda ukipata simu ujue kwamba umepata kazi jamaa wa pili akaingia wakati ambapo alipoingia akasema kwamba ni kitu gani ambacho utakachomwambia mwanadamu na nipoza tuweze kupata wingi wa watu wa pili akasema ah ah yale ambayo nitakayofanya ni nini mimi nitawaambia kwamba hakuna jamu hakuna moto Mnadanganywa kwamba kuna moto wa milele hamna fanyeni dhambi Shetani akaangalia akamwambia Ukipata si ujue kwamba umepata job Jamaa watatu wakakuza na jamaa watatu wakaulizwa Ibu niambie ni kitu gani ambacho utakachomwambia Huyu mwanadamu na nipoza tupate watu wengi akamwambia jameni huyu jamaa alikuwa ametoka upande ule akamwambia e, yale ambayo nitakayowaambia hawa watu e, ruga mnajua akasema akasema alisema na hiyo ruga saa si ovo hebu mseme saa si ovo taige bovu saa si hebu mseme saa si ovo 
inamaanisha bado waka kila mtu aendelee kufanya yale ambayo anafaa na nipuuza bwana shetani alipomwangalia hivi akasema a a huu jamaa akapewa kazi na nipuuza siku ya leo wakati ambapo unapoambia kwamba mtu umkubari Kristu funga ndoa batizwa anamwambia jameni nitabatizwa aje bado masaa next year 2022 mimi nitakubali mokozi wacha kwanza nifanye biashara hizi wacha jameni niue kwamba mimi ni mtu mbaya bado saa sio ro unapoza unakuta kwamba mtu unamwambia kwamba ingia kanisani bado wakati unamwingia ingia kanisani jameni wewe unakataa Was, ni wakati ni sasa wacha tukubali Kristu wakati ambapo nimekuwa mdogo nilikuwa kwamba nina nywele yote tumsifi Yesu Kristu amjambo i was very hard some msiniona na lakini wakati ambapo nimeendelea ninashangaa nywele zangu zinafanya nini zinaendelea kuisha my friend wewe mbona ulikuwa na yote siku ya leo hauna meno yote na bado tunakwambia kubari Yesu unasema saa sio hapo unaanza kuona kwamba meni ngozi imekaa na mda gani ulikuwa kwamba unatembea kutoka hapa kwenda mpaka Elbago ni mguu siku ya leo hauwezi bado hujamkubari mokozi kubari mokozi wacha tuishi kwa mokozi kwa sababu tunapoishi jameni hiyo ndio ilikuwa kwamba lengo lake kwamba tukae dunia hii baada ya kukaa dunia hii tukae pamoja na yeye milele. Kwa hiyo wakati ni sasa usiseme kwamba jameni mimi nitagoja wakati gani ukue kwamba mtu mzuri na lele ambao tumefundishwa na Agnes wacha jameni uwe kwamba ni Biblia ya kutupa changamoto katika Ukristo wetu. Ukristo wetu uwe kwamba ni Ukristo ambao una matunda si Ukristo ambao jameni hauna matunda ni Ukristo tu kwa jina ni Ukristo jameni hauna chochote Ukristo ambao una faida kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na wakati ambapo tunapofanya hivyo jameni uwe kwamba una faida hata kwa wale ambao mnafanya biashara na wao kuna mtu ambaye nimekutana na yeye alifanya biashara na Ruguru Ruguru wivu hakuna atakwambia kwamba jameni unataka kuendelea katika biashara nenda hapa fanya hivi haya mambo yote anamsaidia mkurima mdogo na wakati ambapo anapomsaidia mkurima mdogo hana kitu katika roho yake na hiyo ndio roho ambayo tunataka kwa sababu tunataka kwenda mbinguni jameni wacha jameni tuwe na hiyo roho na wakati ambapo tutakapo kukomba tuna ile roho na nipoza hata hawa hawa ndugu zetu ambao wamekuwa hapa ume nifurahisha sana mekuza kwa sababu ya mama yao wewe ukienda town ukiwaona pale ukikwambia ni pay 20 matusi ama wakati mwingine jameni unaangalia na macho mengine mabaya wewe Mwenyezi Mungu amekujalia lakini wakati ambapo Mwenyezi Mungu amekujalia huna nafasi ya wenzako na wakati ambapo hauna nafasi ya wenzake rugoro alikuwa kwamba na familia ile familia ya wale watoto wa watoto wa mtaani ametembea pamoja na wao amewapa matumaini katika hali ya kwake na wakati ambapo anapowapa matumaini anawapa furaha na wakati ambapo anapowapa furaha jameni wakati mwingine unakuta kwamba sisi hata tuonani majirani tuko kanisani jameni wakati mwingine jameni hata hatupate utakatifu hata tupate utakatifu katika maisha hata tumkubali Kristu na wakati ambapo tunapomkubali Kristu jameni atazidi kutupa baraka na neema atazidi kutuinua familia na somebody in heaven and because we have somebody in heaven sasa nyinyi hamuja tupeke mna mtu ambaye upale binguni mna mtu yule ambaye upale binguni sasa na nyinyi mjumu na Kristu mwe karibu zaidi na Kristu kwa sababu upendo wa mama si kwamba utaisha katika kaburi atazidi kutuombea hiyo ndio imani yetu wale ambao ni watakatifu wanapofika binguni wanazidi kutuombea na nipoza nasema kwamba milia jameni msiwe kwamba na wasiwasi se amani rugoro alifanya kazi yake ametuonyesha njia na kwa sababu ametuonyesha njia hajapotea atazidi kuombea na wakati ambapo anapozidi kuombea na sisi wacha tumwachilie aende
tumachilia aende na nipoza anapoenda na sisi mwenyezi Mungu apate nafasi ya kutushika mkono apate nafasi ya kutushika mkono kutembea pamoja na sisi kutupangu machozi kwa hiyo tunapozidi kumwombea tunapozidi kuombea familia yake kama Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kumpa raha ya ukele kwa sababu Mwenyezi Mungu jameni anataka na nipoza hawa mama wanauliza kwamba kama kwamba unga liko hapo ndugu yangu angeikufa kama kwamba Kristo hanga likwepo umeisha katika maisha yako. Familia yako inaenda kumbokombo kwa sababu jamani hujampa nafasi katika maisha yako. Uhusiano zako zinaenda kumbokombo kwa sababu hujampa nafasi. Unaweza kutembea pamoja na sisi. Kwa hiyo tunapomsindikisha huyu dada na sisi siku ya leo na tunapoelekea Christmas wacha tumkaribishe Kristo azaliwe katika nyoyo zetu abadilisha nyoyo zetu tuwe kwamba tuna nyoyo zile ambazo ni nyeupe nyoyo zimejaa neema na baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu tumsifu Yesu Kristo mame kwa sala za uamini tumombe dada yetu Agnes kwa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyesema mimi ndimi ufufuo na uzima tuwakuomba umweke miongoni mwa watakatifu na wateule wako huyu mtumishi wako aliyesafishwa kwa maji ya ubatizo na kupakwa mafuta matakatifu tuwakuomba utusiki Tuwa kuomba umpekee binguni huyu mtumishi wako aliyekula karamu ya mwili na damu yako tuwa kuomba utusikie Tusali kwa ajili ya wale wote wanaoteswa ili wasifikiri hata mara moja kwamba wameachwa na Mungu tuwa kuomba utusikie Tusali kwa ajili ya ndugu zetu marehemu ili Mungu mwenyezi apende kuwapokea katika ufalme wa binguni wa kuomba utusikie. Uh, bwana Mungu tuko hapa katika hiki kikao tukiweza kukushukuru kwa sababu baba hatuwezi kukuuliza swali kwa sababu tunaju, tunajua kwamba maisha ya binadamu iko mkononi mwako na sasa imefika wakati wa kuita dada yetu aje muishi naye huko binguni. Tuwaombea familia ya Agi watoto wake hasa. Wakati huu watoto wameondokewa na mzazi. Na kuomba baba uweze kuingia katika hilo pengo na uweze kusimama nao wakikosa kitu chochote baba wanakuita kwa sababu tunajua wewe ndio upeana na wakikuita baba utawarudishia kile ambacho wamekuitisha pia hata familia kwa jumla baba twakuomba uwapanguze machozi kwa sababu kuondokewa na mmoja wao ni uchungu zaidi kwa hivyo baba twakuomba uwapanguze machozi baba na wajue kwamba agi kuna mahali yameenda kwa sababu alikuwa ametengeneza njia yake akiwa hapa duniani kwa hivyo baba tushikwe na hiyo huruma ya kuombagia familia yao kila wakati na pia hata watoto wake tuomba so, hayo tukisema e Mungu utusikie pamoja na hayo Mungu baba mwenyezi tunakabidhi nchi yetu mkononi mwako Yesu mwema tunaombea 
amani katika nchi yetu ukaweza kutujalia amani upendo na hata kuelewana Yesu mwema tunawakabidhi viongozi wetu mkono ni mwako tunakuomba Yesu mwema ukaweza kuwajalia hekima katikosa wakaweza kutuongoza na kutuelekeza kwako na sisi wanyenchi Yesu mwema tunakuomba hata nasi ukaweza kutujalia na diposa Yesu mwema <coughs> hasa wakati huu tunapoendelea kujiandaa ni kwa sababu ya uchaguzi tukaweza kuwazana mtu na mwingine na diposa tukaumwagikaji wa damu usikaweze kupatikana katika nchi Uh, ni wakati wa sadaka na kilo mmoja takaa mahali yalipo kuna wamama ambao watakuja karibu na wewe wakibeba bags iko na lagi ya aina ya papo so kama ya, si ya papo usitoe
ni wakati wa kuleta mantega kiongozwa na familia na sisi wote tusimame Mwenyezi Mungu tunakutolea matoleo haya tunapoadhimisha misa hii na kutoa sadaka hii kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako Agnes. Tunakuomba uyapokee na kisha upokee sala hiyo ambayo tunaitoa kwa ajili ya mtumishi wako. Unapoyapokea umpokee ye mwenyewe katika utawala wako. Katina la baba la mwana na roho mtakatifu
baraka yangu na yenu ikubaliwe na Mungu Baba mwenyezi Bwana tunakutolea kwa unyenyekevu dhabihu hii tukiomba rehema yako kwa ajili ya wokovu wa mtumishi wako Agnes na kwa kuwa hakutia shaka kwamba mwanao ndiye mwokozi mjalie ili amfikie na kumuona yeye aliye hakimu mwenye huruma anayeishi na kutawala daima Bwana awe nanyi awe rohoni mwako inueni mioyo tumshukuru bwana mungu wetu kweli ni vema na haki tendo la kufaa na la kuleta wokovu kushukuru wewe daima na popote e bwana baba ulie mtakatifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia ya kristu bwana wetu katika yeye tumaini la ufufuko wenye heri iliangaza kwetu ili sisi tunaosikitika kwa sababu tunajua kwamba lazima tutakufa tufarijiwe kwa ahadi ya uzima wa milele maana Uzima wa waamini wako e Bwana hauondolewi ila unageuzwa tu na hao wanapata makao ya milele mbinguni ya kisha bomolewa makao ya hapa duniani kwa sababu hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika na malaika wakuu pamoja na viti vya enzi na milki na pamoja na majeshi yote ya malaika wa mbinguni Waimba utenzi wa utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho mtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilichoumbwa nawe kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa njia ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tendaji wa roho mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifuza wala huachi kukusanya watu kwako ili toka maua jua hata macho yake na usafi tolewe kwa jina la basi e bwana na kusihi kwa unyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili uvitakase upende kuvitakatifuza kwa roho wako ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya mwanao bwana wetu Yesu Kristo 
Alia tuamuru tuadhimishe mafumbo haya. Maana e mwenyewe usiku alipotolewa. Alitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega na akawapo wafuasi wake akisema Toaini mule wote huu ndio mwili wangu tutakao tolewa kwa ajili yenu Hivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kukushukuru alikibariki na akawapo wafuasi wake akisema Toaini munywe nyote Hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na la milele takamwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondole ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Amen. hiyo e bwana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletayo wakovu pamoja na ufupo wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake binguni na tunapo kutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutolea kwa shukrani sadaka hii iliyo hai na takatifu tunakuomba uyaangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kwa kumtambua yeye aliye kafara ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka ya kifo chake tujalie sisi tunao tiwa nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujazwa roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili moja na roho moja katika Kristo Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu ya milele ituweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mume wake huyo bikira na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa maombezi yao mbele zako na kuomba e bwana huyu aliyekafara na upatanisho wetu alete amani na wokovu duniani kote upende kuliimarisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako linalosafiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francis na askofu wetu Morris pamoja na maaskofu wote wa kirero wote na watu wote unawafanya kuwa taifa lako Usikilize kwa wema sala za jamaa hii ulioita hapa mbele yako. E baba ulie mtakatifu kwa huruma yako wakusanye kwa kwa nao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani. Omkumbuke mtumishi wako Agnes Rogoromboro ulie mwita kwako kwa kutoka dunia hii. Kwa kuwa alishiriki kifo cha Kristo kwa ubatizo Mjalia shiriki pia ufuko wake. Siku ya ufuko Kristo atafananisha mili yetu na mwili wake mtukufu. Pia wapokee katika ufalme wako ndugu zetu marehemu. Na wote waliaga dunia katika hali ya neema. Nasi tunatumaini kujawana utukufu milele katika ufalme wako. 
ndipo utakapovuta machozi yetu yote maana kwa kuona we Mungu wetu kama ulivyo tafanana nawe milele yote na kukosefu bila mwisho tutajalia hayo kwa njia Kristo bwana wetu aliyasili ya mema yote kwa njia yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake we Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele kuleti agizo la mokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunarubutu kusema baba yetu ulie binguni ufarme wako ufike utakala alifanyike duniani kama binguni tutupelea mkate wetu wa kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi waliotukosea tutie katika kishawishi E, Bwana tunakuomba utuwapoe katika maovu yote tujalie kuema amani maisha ni mwetu kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako tuwapolewe daima na dhambi wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heri na ujio wa mokozi wetu Yesu Kristo Amen wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele E Bwana Yesu Kristo aliyowaambia mitume wako amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa usizitazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unaeishi na kutawala milele na milele amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi peane amani tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu tazama aondoe dhambi za ulimwengu heri yao waliyalikwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo
sala baada ya kumunya roho ya Kristo Tukuswe baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Hatukuswe baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Hatukuswe baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu Kumshukuru Mungu tunafanya kama tumesimama. Tuendelee kumshukuru Mungu kama tumesimama wote. Tafadhali. Mcheze mziki.
Nyimbo za kumshukuru Mungu tupiga makofi. Sisi wote tucheze wimbo. Wapi makofi ya Yesu? Tupige makofi sote. Tuombe E Bwana Mungu Mwanao ametuachia pamoja pamba katika sakramenti ya mwili wake kwa nguvu ya chakula hiki upende kumjalia dada yetu huyu Agnes afike kwenye karamu ya milele ya Kristu anayeishi na kutawala daima na milele Bwana awe nanyi Awabariki Mungu Mwenyezi Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Tunaomba tuketi. Asante sana kwa ajili ya kukooperate kwa ibada. Tunashukuru Father kwa kutupeleka vizuri, tunashukuru sana. Asante MC mwenzangu. Uh, kwa sasa sina mambo mengi ambayo nitakayoyalete. Nataka tutaenda kwa haraka nataka kumlete sister Maria ambaye atakaye tusomea yulogia kisha tutaweza kuendelea. Tumkaribishe kwa makofi. Sasa pia tupigie vijana wetu makofi kwa sababu ya kutuendesha kwa hicho kipindi. Thank you so much youth. Msikae mbali sana tunawahitaji hapa bado. Vijana msiende mbali tafadhali. Saidia hiyo mic ingine tafadhali. Agnes Rogoroboro. Was she a Agnes Rogoroboro. As she had the farm at Bagon. Nakuru County, Makainewa, nineteen seventy seven. Where donated Nimuanawa Susanua Maida, Mutiga Ide Joseph Boro Kamuero. Asha Ranei Rona Magretu Agoi, Kamau, 
John Kamweru, Francis Kangonga, Peter Bogua, Alice Wairimo, Ecolia Australia, David Waweru, Jeffrey Kuria, Australia, Narea Nyabura, USA. Gedomo. Medone Ile, Ajiridia Gedomo Gayake, Makaino wa 1983, Shukuri Ino wa St. Joseph Primary at Bagon. Nia Shokile, Agedamira Shukuru wa Ed Bagon, D.B., Mwaka ini wa 1998. Kulea ale keidi ya githo mwaka ya ke, mwaka ini wa 1994. Duda wako reiki ya githo mwa, ni ajiri ya githo mera, wera wago tuma guo, ni guo teirarin. Kwa hii hidari ya meaka, ele, oku erubagon. Wera, Ale kia kudho mera wera wago tumaguo. Mwedo neile ni adha meile kitare mwaka ine wa 1998. Na akiajia wera wago tuma na kwedia guwa shia mitu mba. Mwaka ine wa 2008. Agnes ni adha meile mushi wa nakuru. Na agedhie nabere koruta wera wago wakwe dia guo kanitha mwedo neile nyo nereilio muto urele wa ukristiano nea shari ake ale omu nyinyi kanitha ine wa St. Peter's Catholic Church at Bagon nea fati video mwaka ine wa 1987 na dhuza ushio aki heo sakramenti ya ekaresti na umeredia kanitha ine o ushio. Akoretuo alemuru umeredi wa St. Augustine Catholic Church na kuru. Kiyoge yake, yago tugate rashiana na beo jede, kia jeleidie kahida karaya, ali o kanitha ine wa St. Peter's. Catholic Church at Bagon ni amu nwe wajere hidege kudikia Pontifical Missionary Childhood ni kio PMC mwakini wa St. Cecilia Kamirezu aleka nitha ini wa St. Peter's Catholic Parish na net ni akoretuo agetuga tabe ujede aleta matron wao wa ihida ilaya Kuhuroka. Mwedone ile. Nia nyituruwa ni moti nwa hara hara. Nia nakuru na robi. Mwena wana ibasha. Kole aramidi, tariki kumina idha adato, mweli ni oyo, mwaka ini oyo, na kehuroka. Nia tigashi ya naigere, meri nteri, na jimi mbogua. Mwadhani amune gere agnes kehuroko agitadiraga. Aro huroka uhoro. Mwadhani amune gere agnes ke huroko geta dhiraga. Aro huroka uhoro. Mwadhani amune gere agnes ke huroko geta dhiraga. Aro huroka uhoro. Kwa naro unage dogo. Nyo doa lia mekule Australia. Uoroji of the late Agnes Rogoro Mboro. Agnes Rogoro Mboro was born in the year 1977 at Kamerezo Farm, Elvagon, Nakuru County. 
She was the daughter of Susan Wamaida and the late Joseph Mburu. Sister to Margaret Wangoi Kamau, John Kamuero, Francis Kangonga, Peter Mbogwa, Alice Wailimo, Australia, David Wawero, Joy Kuria, Australia, Andrea Nyambura, USA. Education. Agnes Gogoro Mboro began her education in the year 1983 at St. Joseph at Bagon. She later transferred to Ed Bagon DEB Primary School in the year 1988, where she completed her primary education in 1994. After completing her primary education, she pursued a two-year tailoring course at Ed Bagon. Work. After completing her tailoring training, Agnes moved to Kitare in the year 1998, where she operated a tailoring business of selling a tailoring business and selling of Mitumba clothes. In the year 2008, Agnes relocated to Nakuru Town, where she continued with her business of selling clothes. Church. Agnes was introduced to St. Peter's Catholic Church at Bagon at an early age. She was baptized in the year 1987 at the age of 10 years and received her Eucharist and confirmation at the same church. She has been a devoted member of St. Augustine Catholic Church in Nakuru. Her devotion to the children and the youth in the church began in St. Peter's Catholic Church at Bagon, where she recruited and trained Pontifical Missionary Childhood, PMC, members at St. Cecilia's Small Christian Community. At St. Peter's Catholic Parish, Lanet, she has been a committed youth matron for several years <coughs> until her demise. Death. Agnes was involved in a tragic road accident at Kinungi area on Thursday, the 16th December, 2021, while on her way to Nairobi for business. She has left two children, Mary Jerry and Jim Bogwa. <coughs> Eternal rest grant to Agnes, O oh Lord. May she rest in peace. To Pigia Dada Wetu, Maria, our sister Maria, uh, thank you so much. To Pigia Makofi, let us appreciate her. Kwa kutupeleka kwa hicho kipindi, theology. Now, tuko na three tri uh, four tributes. Ambazo na amini ya kwamba nataka kuwalete, ambao watakuwa kiwakilisha hiyo. Kwa kwanza ambaya taleta tribute ya kwanza ni Jim. Na amini ya kwamba, if you... Jim, the son. Santi, let us appreciate Jim Anapokuja to bring his tribute. Na sister Yakim Jerry. Thank you so much. Tuneza kupata vijana ma siza kwa hapo tu kakaribu now. Santi, Jim. Thank you all so much. I can write a thousand words. Use the best phrases, but nothing can ever explain how much I love my mom. I remember when she used to call me to tell me, Jim, you are the man of the house. And if you always stand strong, you will always bring unity between me and my, uh, you and your sister. Oh, I wish I was as happy, I was as strong as you are, man. 
your love brought light into my heart, into my world. And words can't describe how heavy my heart is when I say I will miss you. It's with the pain I say this, that I can climb the highest mountain. I am afraid of lying. But my mom will never be there. Tell me, my, my son, you did it. I envy your personality, your character, <laughs> and the way you carried yourself. For I know life will never be the same ever again without you. I remember us sharing our thoughts, and I remember you. You would always ask for our opinion whenever you wanted to do anything. My mom was an angel, <laughs> and the great impact she had towards people's life. And I'll always remember how selfless she was, and how she strived to bring smiles into people's faces. She had a personality of gold, and I'll always envy her character. How well organized she was, and how composed she was with her thought process. She was not perfect, but she was human. And with a heavy heart, I pray for God's grace upon all the hearts of the people she crossed one way or the other, to forgive her and let her rest. Mom, I love you. I love you. Mom, I loved you. I love you. And I'll always love you. And it's with a sorrowful heart, I say goodbye for now. But I promise your legacy will live on through us. Your love will be spread through us. And one way or the other, all the plants you had will come to life. Oh, I wish I could receive one last one. But as I did, as I always did. Mama, I love you. May, you so, may your soul rest in eternal peace, man. For I know you are dancing with the angels. And you and Wuka are watching over us. I'll always love you. God is good. God is good again. To my lovely mom. Mom was a woman like no other. She gave me love, happiness, and always took care of my, of my brother and I. She was strong and very hardworking. Single-handedly, she played all roles of her mother and father. I will surely miss you, my mother. I remember when, when we first came to Nakuru. You started from scratch. You fought all battles and to ensure we ate, we dressed, and had roof on our heads. My heart is in pain that today I have to say goodbye, and never shall you come back. <laughs> my biggest question is, who will I call my mama? Graduation, and was, the, was among the first people to visit me together with my two cousins when I was gifted with a baby daughter together with my wife. I really appreciated how much she cared and I could always count on her for anything I needed. May her soul rest in peace. This whole time, I prayed and hoped this was all a bad dream, and I would wake up from it. When you did not meet, when you did not come to meet me at the airport like you always do, I realized Kumbe is true. You are no more, cause you never missed even a single time. 
before the time that I have come home. Coming, up, coming back home will never be the same. We shared so many things together. You had my secrets and I had yours. You cared so much for me. You never wanted to see me suffer or sick. I avoided calling you Hatanikiwa Nao Makidogo because that only would make you start crying. Saying, Sosa na vile ukombali, nani anda kuchunga? You should be here so I can make you some uji. I will miss our random group video calls. I will miss living with you when I visit. I will miss being goofy together. I will miss singing and praying with you. I will also miss annoying you, which I did sometimes, because that's what baby sisters are for. You knew I had a sister, a best friend, and a prayer partner. My sisters and I will miss our novena, the nickname for our, the nickname for our prayer group. And Lukia, our group for just catching up and sometimes motion it too. Over the years, my overseas and Kenyan friends who have met you became your friends too. Some of them even make fun of me saying they're even closer to you than they are to me. And I can agree to that. Because you are lovable, outgoing, happy, generous, passionate, and you cared for them like they were your friends too. I will miss you always asking. I'm to a future Kenyan woman shake a kitchen. You did this selflessly and without asking anything in return. I can go on and on all day talking about our memories, my sister. Mom will surely miss you. You both had a bond that was unmatched, and you always bragged of how much she called you more than any other sibling. She, had not, she has not only lost a daughter, but a best friend. But I promise you, we will do our best to take care of her like you did. I am so proud of you, sis. You have come from far. You are very hardworking and have raised your kids single-handedly. You have given them the best life they could have asked for. You are close to them and free with them, which I admire. They are also, they are so respectful because you have raised them well. They will miss you dearly. Jerry and Jim, as much as this is hard for me, I'm sure it's even hard for you. We are going to work together as a family. We will hold each other's hands as we go through this. It's not going to be the same, but God will give us peace and strength to take one day at a time. I love you both, and you all know that. I might not be physically present most of the time, but I'm only a phone call away. Also, what I can promise is that Shosho, my siblings and I, with the help of God, we'll be here for you at all times. We'll be here to uplift you, correct you when you're wrong, celebrate your wins, big or small, just like your mom did. We cannot take your mom's position, but, but we will do our best to see you all succeed like she wanted. Why did that take you away from us? You deserve to be here to see your kids grow and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Well, like you always say, there's a reason for everything, which does not make sense right now, because we cannot question God. In life, I loved you, and in death, I still love you. 
I'm sure you and dad are catching up and he cannot stop calling you my sister Agnes. <laughs> like he used to call you sometimes. <laughs> Thanks to the angels, my love. It's well with our soul. It's well, sissy. To a piggy my coffee, let us pray for them. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, at our Farigi, at our Tia Moyo, na tendelea kuapa moja nao. Situ appreciate wana poenda kuketi koma coffee yetu. Thank you so much. Ten sisters, watakaribia hapa, dio wana Rudi. Tutamatisha sehemu yuo ya tribute to ende kule Australia to pate tribute ya kutoka huko. Then to ten sisters, watakaribia please. Tribute to our sister in love, Agnes Rogoro, to let another sister. Dear Rogoro, sister, since we came to this family, you, love, uh, you loved us like your own blood sister. You didn't discriminate anyone. Come on, your sisters in law. You used to tell us most of the time, na wapenda sana, huwa munachunga brother zetu vizuri, nyinyi ni wanguvu. Sister, you have never quarreled with us. You are so, so loving to us, kama in-laws. We shall live to remember the birthday cakes we celebrated with our children and the favorite songs you sang. Kata keki sio ugali. Na keki gani hii inatufanya tumwage mate. You are special sister-in-law we miss to live with. We shall miss you, sister, komadayo, forever in our memories. Thank you so much. Thank you so much in laws, sisters in law and sisters in love. Let us come here please. Ten sisters, let us appreciate them. To apigie ma coffee tafadhali. And all the time, we have come to celebrate your well-lived life again. We as ten sisters, we thank God for you, for the good times we spent together. We laughed, talked and talked, cried, made plans and promises, ate and drank together. And not forgetting the small arguments we had that made us closer and more of the sisters. During our last meeting, we prayed for each one of us and our family. And more of it, we prayed for our group's unity and love for each other. You completed us as ten, ten sisters. Now that we are nine, you will forever be part of us. All you have left us are good memories and beautiful photos that you love taking. Our hearts still ache in sadness and secrets. Tears still flow since you left us. What, what it means to lose you, no one will ever know. Today, you will be laid to rest. It breaks our hearts and makes us very sad. But on the other hand, we know God has taken the best. Fear thee well, our lovely sister, your friendship and, uh, was a blessing, and we will miss you shine all the way till we meet again. Thank you so much, ten sisters. Omeklisha marafiki wote tuwapigie makofi. Thank you so much. Asanti, uh, sasa nataka tuende kule Australia, ambapo kuna ndugu, na dada, na cousin ambaye wanalete tribute yao tunapoleteo na watu wa mtandao tuna appreciate sana Atesh Rafix tunawapenda kwa vile mnavyotupeleka ikiwa tayari mtaniambia ni nyamaze thank you tusikize hiyo tribute from Australia
ndio kuna dada amjambo hapa msikiti na mimi hapa nyuma
angalau tulitaka tujue kwamba wako pamoja na sisi na pia sisi tujue si vizuri. Nataka kuingia kwa matangazo na nitaomba hivi tunaenda kwa barrio site upande ile wa nyumbani. Na nitaomba wapendwa hawa ambao mko mbele yangu na najua Muriaga, Madhani ya Washo, Fikira Yugu, Asanti. Tutafungua hiyo njia pande hii na pande hii kwa sababu tutapitia hapo tukielekea upande ile wa nyumbani. Jambo la pili, mahali tunapoenda sipa kubwa sana. Nitaomba tutaruhusu familia wale the immediate family yote na marafiki wale ambao tuko najua sisi wote tungelipenda kwenda pale lakini ukiona ya kwamba umefungiwa kwa sababu kumejaa upande ule tafadhali uruhusu wao wapendwa unless tu wewe ni wa familia utaruhusiwa kupita lakini ukiona wamefunga tafadhali itosheleka na itakuwa nafasi nzuri tutawacha wataenda na itakuwa wakimaliza hapo kisha baada ya kumaliza jamii hii imeandaa chakula kwa hivyo tumeulizwa ama tumeombwa tusiende bila kutumia yale maamkuli kwa sababu imeandaliwa kwa ajili
Mama G, as we used to call her, was a hardworking woman. She took care of her children to ensure that they were happy and satisfied. As a single woman and self-employed business lady, she would wake up very early in the morning and start her job and she would finish her job late at night. When I was coming to Australia, my sister was very supportive and in fact, in fact she initiated into the plans of my family and the success as evidence to some of my family members she, she actually uh, initiated by coming here. That was my sister. Yes, when I came to my temple coming to Australia, I left my two kids with, uh, with her, that is Joseph and Kevin. That is Kevin and Joseph is at home. Uh, and that was for five years. She managed to take care of my children and supported them, they loved them as her own. In fact, they called her mom. My sister was a person was a part, was a person of passion. She loved fashion. She loved fashion and she loved to see everyone well dressed. When shopping to stop her boutique, she would get the best selections of clothes for her and the family members. She would send us gifts if even from Kenya and never ask for anything. Okay, to my sister again. Look over my sister. You are my best friend and one that has been with me during the time of happiness or challenges. I spoke with you the previous day before you depart, but truthfully did I know that that was the last talk. My sister, we have, we have grown together from young age and my problem has always been your problem and vice versa. You brought happiness and joy to our family. You were outspoken, um, you were outspoken and always spoke, spoke your mind out. You had to love, give and support the family you always remain in our heart, in our lives. We miss you, we miss your beautiful and the sense of humor that enables our family to be strong, joyous despite all the challenges. I will never, I will never forget the long chatting hours that we had together and the difficult times and moments that we had shared together. We remember how you, how you ensured that we were all connected in time, in, and in terms in our family members. Your memories we always have with us. Until now, I'm not sure how life would go on without you. We had many plans for our children and for our mom, but I believe that all will go on because of God. To Jerry and Jim, your children. I believe that the gap that your mom has said, nobody can complete for it. As your auntie, I am asking to God to give me the strength and ability to carry on what your mom wanted to do to you. I will stand with you, my, my kids, and support you as much as I can. To Kevin and Joseph, my kids. I know that auntie was more than uh, an auntie to you. She was like a mom. I know that you have lost a special person in your life, but I believe that God will give you strength to continue. To my brothers and my sisters, I know we are still in this belief that Rogoro is gone and is out of our life. Our family chatting and gatherings will never be the same again. We are asking for God's healing and acceptance that our sister is in a good place and that we see her. Today, the Mormon's family will lunch. Let's continue to stay together and ask for God's intervention to help us love each other and and more to forgive each other. Let's continue to remember and enter and pray to God to accept her in her in his heart praise. My sister Agnes, we love you so much. Our moment our memories we see are still fresh in our minds. We are mourning your distress, but we are happy to know that you are dancing along with the angels as we always did here. Go well, my sister, until we meet again. Thank you, guys.
kids and she would give them priorities before us. So what is the fourth part is the mistake we do? This never happened. I was never left out. They can go with my child. She was always scared. She was always sick. My mother was in that. She would always say to her. The first thing about living with my friend is made me forget about my mom that I was missing her. I think she was in a different direction. She made me feel welcome and feel loved. She always provided for us, protected us, disciplined us, and motivated us. She helped us grow mentally, physically, and spiritually. Immediately after my mom came back to Australia, my aunt, Agnes, introduced us to Catholic history. And on February 11, 2011, she took me and my brother to get baptized in St. Peter's Church. She found a great foundation for my spiritual life. I remember we all just prayed together, we read the Bible, we read the teachings, and she always encouraged me to take a part in the PMC of the church. She will educate us on the meaning of hard work and the benefit of studying hard. And she will always reward us with every achievement of the God. I never knew an auntie as a bad person. She was always full of energy. She would laugh a hard time. She would sing, dance, make fun. Almost every weekend, she would take us to restaurants or swimming or to a party. She was a very generous and giving person. When she was working in town, I remember seeing her give money to homeless people and the disabled men of the community who live in Afghan to get their own lunch. There was no Christmas or birthday that ever passed without her getting us gifts. So like she was the sign of our family. She always loved putting a smile on everyone's face. And people loved her in church. One of the best memories I had with her was back in 2014. I was in boarding school um, in my final year of primary school, class 8. My birthday is usually in August, so most of the times um, I'm usually lucky to have my birthday at home. But this year, since it was my final year, like we were doing our final exams, we were not allowed to go home, so I stayed home to study. I knew I was going to celebrate my birthday at school and maybe it was just going to pass. But I remember that day, Auntie came and she organized everything without me really knowing. I was at school, she joined with my cousins, my friends, and she didn't let anything stop me from having my birthday on that day. I will never forget my aunt. She lived a beautiful life that impacted everyone around. It's a great pain having to lose, to lose such an amazing and beautiful person. She will be missed by everyone. We pray that she rest in peace and she's in heaven with God. It's one of the most important lessons I've learned from my life is to love others with all your heart, to give with all your might, and support others with all your strength. We will miss you, Auntie. May you rest in everlasting peace.
She connected with us all together as she was very close with every single family member. Auntie Rogoro was an auntie you could trust and feel comfortable with. I was devastated hearing the news that she had passed away. Little did I know my departure from Kenya was the last time I would see her. But I know she's in heaven dancing and singing with the angels. We will forever hold her in our hearts. May her soul rest in peace. Amen. Just my personal tribute to our auntie. You wanna, uh, I, I want to just remember her life and celebrate her today as a person who lived with a lot of joy, a person who was uh, hardworking, a person who lived and, uh, you know, was a sister, was a mother to many, not only her own children. Today, we celebrate her life. As she has gone, she has gone to rest in peace. But one thing that we know is that she has left very wonderful memories behind for us all. And we believe that even as we continue with life, uh, in her absence, she will always be with us uh, through her children and through every one of us who knew her at a personal level or in a different way. So we thank God this day for her life and we celebrate her. Hallelujah.
Mungu abariki na tena pole watu wenye wako pasi na watu wenye wako kule nyumbani kule Kenya. Asante sana. kurudishia maulana kwa wakati huu ambaye ametupa kama uh, marafiki kama familia kukutana hapa na ili tusherekee uh, maisha ya dada wetu Agnes sifa nyingi na tumsifu kila wakati la pili Father Cyprian, Masandi Sana. Even you are encouraging ones for everything that you have done. May God bless you. We are very fortunate to have our own father, including father there. So thank you very much for even the sermon, for whatever you have done. You have talked to us, you have told us, especially when we are here in Australia, what we are supposed to do. Tudumisha ungugu, tuwe pamoja wa kila jambu, kwa sababu tuko mbani sana. So, we are brothers and sisters when we are here and we should always care for each other. My next vote of thanks ni kwa committee wale wamejaribu kila jambo wanakuja kutusaidia it was just a short notice just the other day and we are talking to Kenyans here our friends to join us so that we can plan and they did even disappoint us thank you Rachel. Oh, my God. 